welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's alexa and if you're not welcome in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys everything i ate in turkey and let me tell you something the food it's like one of the best cuisines i've ever tried everything has flavor there is not one thing that you taste that does not have flavor and i'm going to be showing you guys the foods that if you go to turkey you must try these the reason i'm filming this intro at home is because i totally forgot to film this intro in turkey the first Turkish food that we are trying is this lentil soup and we are so excited to try it. It looks absolutely amazing and it came with fresh lemon. Hot. Oh my god. It's full of spices and it's absolutely amazing with lemon and this fresh bread that came. Wow. Nah, okay. Guys, this is like a 10 out of 10. I've never tried a soup this flavorful. It's amazing. For our main course, we got a mixed kebab platter and it came with grilled eggplant, chicken, Adana kebab, which is like a minced lamb meat, which was my favorite. And then we also got this wrap, which came with Adana meat, and it was spicy. It came with veggies. Couscous was on the side, and wow. My whole family, including me, were absolutely shocked of how good and flavorful the food was. Like, there's no words that I can explain it. You just have to go there and try it. If you're wondering about the prices of this whole meal, it was $51, including two waters that me and my brother got. We got two Cokes and my mom and dad got each a beer. Tried some of my dad's ice cream. He got chocolate and it was really rich. And then lemon was the perfect amount of sweet and sour. And my brother got strawberry, which was also really good. If you go walk around Taksim Square, you will see so many of these Turkish delight shops full of anything you can think of. They don't just have Turkish delights. And let me tell you, every single time you go there, they give you a bunch to try. You try something new every single time and they're so interesting and delicious. Well, the way I am Just give me some space I hope you understand So call me in the morning Cause by then I should be doing fine I'm feeling heated for no reason Oh my god, your hazelnut cream inside we got two different types of baklava. One was the normal pistachio, and then there was a pistachio and chocolate one. also brought dried fruits because they looked so interesting and there were so many different kinds i honestly think my favorite was the pineapple and i am not a big fan of pineapple and also the peach was really delicious
There are usually fresh fruit juice stands everywhere you go and we decided to try the pomegranate one because we have never tried a fresh pomegranate juice. Fresh pomegranate juice. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so good. That's so good. Oh my God. This is like the best thing I've ever tasted. Oh my God. No. I got ice cream, I got melon and lotos and it is absolutely delicious. These stands are literally everywhere you go and they sell roasted chestnuts and either boiled corn or roasted corn. Today is day two of Turkey in Istanbul and we are going for breakfast right now and I'm gonna show you guys what breakfast there is. Starting off for the first plate, I got this omelet with broccoli, hazelnut cream, tomatoes, a cucumber, and then I got some fruit with some yogurt. These were more of a dessert halva, some other things that I do not know what they're called, more fruit halva, and this chocolate pudding. Everything was amazing. Later in the day, since it was 101 degrees outside, we stopped for some ice cream and literally no gelato place in Turkey has let me down. They are all so good. Surprise, surprise, we are at another Turkish shop, and this one was even better than the last one. Like, I don't know how. He did say that these were sweetened with honey instead of sugar, so maybe that's why, but we tried a bunch of teas too, and oh my god, absolutely amazing. We put a little bit, an empty glass, and hot water. Close your eyes, and smell slowly. Close, and smell. This crystal has a really strong minty smell and it's good for sicknesses when you're taking a bath and for health and wellness. Later in the day, we got hungry, so we stopped at this cute little place. We sat on the carpet, and you are not allowed with shoes there. And then we also tried gozle me. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's like a thin bread filled with fillings. I had chicken and mushroom, and then I also had another lentil soup. I'm not going to try to pronounce that one. Even though we were full, me and my brother have been looking for Islak hamburgers everywhere and the way I describe it, it's literally like a hamburger except the bread is really moist and flavorful and the burger, it just has so much more flavor than a regular okay. burger. Have the Turkish delights that we bought earlier and these are actually sweetened with honey and they all are filled with hazelnut cream. Red is pomegranate, white is coconut, and the other is hazelnut. I know this is not food but I had to include my dad in this because this was the first night of a surgery and he literally could not move, only his finger. It is day four in Turkey. We literally finished all the Turkish delights that we bought yesterday because they were absolutely delicious. Like I hope we find something that tastes as good as that but there's a bunch of shops nearby so we're gonna be trying a lot of Turkish delights today. We're gonna go ahead to the grand bazaar see what we're gonna buy i'm so sorry i do not know what this is called but this kind lady told us to get this apple pastry this was the best one i've tasted something that i never knew is that turkish restaurants give you some starters for free for example the azami salad which is a spicy salad dip this salad was so fresh and it was loaded with parsley and then we got lamb skewers a dana kebab which is the best Thing ever it's like minced lamb with a bunch of seasonings we also try this flatbread which has minced meat minced vegetables and herbs on it we stopped at a pastry shop right downstairs from our hotel the first thing i hope this is bombas i'm pretty sure it's what it's called i've been looking for this everywhere and it looks like it it looks like this and I, it's like a bread filled with chocolate. So I'm gonna give this a try. This is like filled with chocolate and the outside is a little bit crunchy. And then something that my mom really loves are these cheese pastries. What are they called? Brekia. Brekia? Mm -hmm. They're called something like Brickia. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. They came in this and they are warm. So we're gonna give it a try.
It's like a salty pastry. Really good. This was 50 liter. And then this bomba was 25 liter. So in total, we paid 75 liter, which is about like $3. So this is like a really good price for these. This is Almond Turkish Delight. This one, I actually forgot what it is. This one is chocolate, pistachio, halva, and this one is not filled with anything. It's just this pomegranate one that is absolutely so good with pistachios inside of it. These are all filled with like a cream. The next day we went to the Asia side of Istanbul and we saw a bunch of fruit, literally two types of figs. I've never seen the green figs. I should have bought it. I honestly regret it. But we bought fresh strawberries. And as we were walking, we literally saw a million types of olives, fish, meat, produce, just everything really fresh. This one is raspberry flavor, this one is cherry, this one is caramel, this one's chocolate, and then and this one's, one's white chocolate. chocolate. So we're so excited to try them. I cannot explain how good these are. The whole family love them and we literally bought five more for our hotel. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What do you rate it? 30 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Guys, you guys have to try this if you go to Turkey. Right after we ate the bombas, we saw such good looking pastries, but we honestly could not fit it anywhere. So I just decided to film it and show you guys. Right by the water, we tried this street food, and these are wraps. They fill it with salad, tomatoes, onion, bell pepper, spicy bell pepper, a sauce that I don't know what it's called, and also a seasoning. And then they grill it on after they put the fish inside of it to make it like a little crunchy. And it is honestly so flavorful, and I've never tasted anything like it. Sandwich is absolutely the best thing ever. Oh my god, I swear I said this about every single food, but so so good. Today is day five and our last day in Turkey. It's so sad that we're leaving today. Like, I don't want to leave. This place has been amazing. One of my favorite vacations that I've ever been on. It's just been such a different experience than what I've been to or where I've been to. Me and my brother right now, we are going to Starbucks because we want to try the drinks here that they don't have in America and also a couple of pastries. For the rest of the day, we're just going to be walking around Taksim Square because we are leaving at 3 o'clock to the airport. So we don't have a lot of time, but we're just going to be enjoying everything. We're going to be going to our favorite restaurant, getting ice cream, and that's basically all we're doing today. But I really hoped you guys like this video if you ever are thinking about going to turkey please please go because it's amazing here i've shared so much with you guys so yeah i really hope you like this video please like and subscribe it would mean so much to me and have a great day everyone bye guys